Now we are in uh, self-inductors 5.3. Okay, so what is mean by self-induction? Okay? Okay. So self-induction means it is uh, induced, the, pro the EMF is produced in a coil due to the change of current, change of current at the same coil, uh, at the same coil, coil of sama. Okay? Due to change of current in the same coil. Okay, so produce the EMF. Why the EMF is produced? Because there is change of current, okay, in the same coil. Now, let's look at the formula. Yeah, let's look at the formula first. Okay, this is what we learned uh, according to Faraday's law. EMF is produced because there is a change of magnetic flux, isn't it? When there is a change of magnetic flux, you will produce EMF, okay? And why the flux can change? Because there is change of current. Because we know when the current changes, the magnetic field strength also changes. Magnetic field strength changes. So when magnetic field strength changes, flux changes. Uh, so produce EMF. Okay? Uh, so this is the two formula. We have two formula for the induced EMF. Okay? Uh, e induced equal to negative N d phi dt. E induced also equal to negative L di dt. Uh, this is change of current. And L is the uh, self inductance. Okay? L. Uh, so from here, uh, N d phi from here and L di, okay, we can simplify become this N phi equal to L i. You understand that? Uh, because these two things, these two equal to the same thing, which is E induced. Right. Uh, so when we cut off the common, the dt we cut off, we got n phi equal to li. Uh, still remember what is n phi? n is the number of turns. Phi is the flux through one one loop, isn't it? So one flux through one loop multiplied by the total turns, we get the total flux. Isn't it? This is the magnetic flux linkage. Uh, yeah, I write here. This is the this is the magnetic flux linkage, means many turns, many turns. Uh, and this one is the magnetic flux through one turn. Okay? Uh, magnetic flux, uh, this phi. So, n phi equal to Li. And then, L also has another formula. After derivation, you get this formula, which is... Um, mu naught n square a over L. Okay, this is the self inductance. Uh, mu naught four pi exponent negative seven, and n is the number of turns. A is the area of the coil. Okay, this is the coil. You uh, the cross sectional area of the coil, and this is the length of the coil. Okay, that means uh, the the length of the coil. Understand that? Uh, yeah. The a cross sectional area means uh, this one. The cross sectional area of the coil. Right? Okay. The unit for self inductance is Henry. Henry. So uh, big H. Huh? Okay. So what is actually self inductance? Yeah. How it happens? So let's look carefully. Yeah. So. We have two cases here. One is the current increase, and the other one is current decrease. Now, look at the first case. Current increase in the circuit. Okay. So, how to make the current increase? This circuit, we have the solenoid, we have the rheostat, which is the variable resistor. You can change the resistance, and there is a battery there, EMF, which produces the current I. Okay? Now, uh, I wrap off this one. Okay. Okay. So, to increase the current, so how to increase the current in the circuit? We have the real start. We decrease the resistance, isn't it? We decrease the resistance. 
So when resistance decrease, current current from the battery. This current actually produced by the battery EMF. Okay, the current from the battery increases. Okay, uh, so the current that flows through the coil increases. Okay, more current flows through the coil. Now, this current that flows through the solenoid produces magnetic field. Isn't it? Magnetic field, mu naught and I. Huh? Uh, and when there is magnetic field, you have magnetic flux through the coil. Okay, because flux is the a magnetic field passes through the area, isn't it? So these two come together, magnetic field and magnetic flux. Okay, now when the current increases, what happens to the magnetic field strength and magnetic flux? Become stronger or become less? Stronger. Uh, become stronger magnetic field, so magnetic flux also become magnetic flux that pass through this coil also become more, isn't it? The flux become more. So the flux, there is a flux changes happening in the coil, which is the flux is increasing. Isn't it? So the flux is increasing in the coil. So according to Lenz's law, what he says? We want to oppose the increasing flux. Oppose the changes. The changes is the flux is increasing. So how to oppose the increasing flux? So this solenoid will produce its own magnetic flux. This coil will produce its own magnetic flux, uh, which is called the magnetic field induced or flux induced from the coil. This coil, because the flux, the flux from the battery is increasing. So this coil itself will produce its own magnetic flux or, or magnetic field. Uh, we call it a uh, flux induced. Ah, so, because the flux is increasing, so to oppose the increasing flux, the flux induced is opposite direction with the increasing flux. O opposite direction with the increasing flux, which is in the, in the opposite direction. Ah, understand or not? This is the magnetic field induced, or we call the flux induced. Why must opposite direction? Because the flux is increasing, uh, we want to oppose changes, isn't it? So must produce opposite direction, in, uh, opposite direction flux, so that when opposite, they cancel the increasing flux. Okay? Uh, they cancel the increasing flux. So remember, this flux comes from the coil, coil and the coil itself produces its own induced flux. Okay? Which is opposite direction. So now. Here, this uh, coil has its own pole. Ah, so the flux coming out from here, so this end become the nor. This end become the nor. And this, uh, the flux entering here, so it can become the sound. Understand not? Using the, we call, uh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, the flux coming out, so it become nor. Okay? Then we use our right hand grip rule. Right hand grip rule. Okay, so remember our right hand grip rule? Uh, the, okay, uh, again, our right hand grip rule. So the thumb is the uh, magnetic flux induced or the magnetic field strength. And the finger is the current induced. Okay? Uh, so looking at the red one, uh, red one. So our thumb is this way, yeah? our magnetic field is to the right because north come out from here. So our finger from the back to the front. You see that? Right? From the back to the front. So let's draw the current induced. Uh, current induced from the back to the front. Oh, since, so this is the back to the front. Uh, so the current induced is from the back to the front this way. Uh, coming down from here going up from here using our right hand grip rule so this is our current induced uh, current induced okay uh, this current induced comes from where who produced this current induced the coil the coil okay right there coil this one comes from the coil this current induced comes from the coil 
R. So we can see the current induced from the coin is opposite direction with the current from the battery. Opposite direction. Ah, you see, ah, uh, the flux induced and the flux also opposite direction. The current induced and the current from battery also opposite direction. You see, ah, uh, opposite direction. So what happened to the current? Because we know the current is increasing, right? It's increasing. So now this current increasing, it cannot increase it very fast because the the current current induced is opposite direction. So the current increases slower because the changes is being opposed. Ah, for the perubahan dia sedang ditentang, tangga. So the process of increasing becomes slower. Yeah. Okay. Understand? So now you see, uh, current induced come up from this end. So positive terminal. Ah, uh, you see the solenoid now also got its own terminal. So current induced come up from here. So this one is positive. So current entering here, this one is negative. So you see, ah, uh, this solenoid now become another battery. Yeah, because um, so we draw. Let's draw. Ah, uh, current come up from here. So this is the positive terminal. And current entering here, so this is become negative terminal. Ah, so, ah, uh, so ah, uh, this is what we call the EMF induced. EMF induced due to the change of current in the same point. Understand? Uh? So we can see ah uh, this uh, solenoid now become like a battery that produce the induced EMF. Okay, that also produce the induced current. Ah, uh, understand? Ah. Uh? Produce the induced current because we know that E induced equal to I induced R, right? Ah, uh, these two come together. Okay, you see this E induced and E EMF battery opposite direction also. You see, right? Okay, now let's look at the uh, case two. How to make the current decrease? How to make the current decrease? Of course, we how to reduce the current. So we increase the Resistor. So current decrease. Current from the battery decrease. So the magnetic field strength also become become weaker. Become uh, uh, the magnetic field strength become less and less. Reduce, decreasing. So magnetic flux also decreasing. Lens law says oppose the changes. Oppose the decreasing flux. That means don't want it to decrease. Don't want it to decrease so fast. So how? So this coil will produce another flux, which is same direction with the decreasing flux. Menentang perubahan, tahu tak? Flux dia sedang menurun. The flux is decreasing. So he try to uh, make the process slower, uh, to oppose the changes happening. Uh, so when the flux is decreasing, he try to increase that. You understand? Right? When the flux is decreasing, he try to increase that. Uh, oppose the changes. So how to increase back the flux? The coil will produce same direction flux. Uh, same direction flux. Uh, this is the magnetic field induced or flux induced, which is produced by the coil. Same direction with the decreasing flux because flux is decreasing. We try to increase that. This one is flux is increasing. We try to decrease. Uh, this one flux is decreasing. We try to increase back. Ah, uh, we produce same direction flux. Okay, use ah uh, then ah uh, this one become the north pole. This one become the south pole because flux come up from here. This flux entering here, so north and south. Okay, now ah uh, use your right hand grip rule. Ah, uh, this one like this, thumb to the left. So your current is uh, from the front to the back. So from the front, this is the front. Go to the back. Ah, uh, so your current induce this this one. This is the current. Induced and current going down from here. Ah, uh, current induced here. Ah, uh, this current induced is produced by the coil. Ah, uh, produced by the coil. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, see or not? So you see, the current induced from the coil is same direction with the current with the battery. The current induced from the coil same direction with the current in the battery. So is a uh, we can say the current induced is reinforcing the current from the battery. Reinforce. Sebab dia menurun lah. 
dia sekarang nak reinforce dia lah supaya dia tak menurun dengan cepat ya yeah? so that it uh, uh, reinforcing so the flux also reinforcing you see the flux is reinforcing the current also same direction reinforcing so what happen to the decrease of current it comes slower also because the changes is being opposed the the decreasing flux now decrease much slower because the current is in same direction okay uh, so uh, we can also draw another e EFF induced here so how current come up from here so here is positive isn't it here is negative uh, so positive here negative here okay uh, so the E induced is this way so this solenoid produce EMF induced this EMF produced produce the induced current you see or not so this solenoid also become another battery so this is self induction the changes of current in the same coil produce EMF in the same coil okay it just have uh, it just involve one coil Later, you learn another type of induction. It's called mutual induction. Then what happened in two coils? Okay? Thank you.